So, we'll, we'll start from our MMA stance, right? So, so my, from my fight stance. All right. So, a lot of times when we're shooting the single, uh, one of the things that I see people doing wrong for an MMA stance is they come here and they want to step around the leg. Okay? The problem with that is really slow, and it, that's not a penetration step. When I'm stepping around, it's going to be very easy for him to take that leg away. Okay? So, I need to cover that ground. If I'm a right handed fighter fighting another right handed fighter, I need to penetrate my lead leg. Okay? So, we're always shooting off the lead leg. Now, if I'm a southpaw, I can penetrate to the outside, right? That's my penetration leg. So, it wouldn't make sense to shoot a single with my leg on the inside, right? That would be a double leg. So, if you're southpaw, more than one cat. Absolutely. This is a very strong shot. Even if you're a right-handed fighter, sometimes switching stances, you can set up that single leg and you're good. All right? So no matter which leg I decide I want to shoot with as my lead leg, I want the outside hand on top when I get there. Penetrate to here. Then look, look, my shoulder, right, is making contact with the hip. My head is up, back straight, hips are in, okay? This hand is on top. If I put this hand on bottom and he goes to fight my hand, it's gonna pull the hands apart. If I go here, he goes to pull up, it's not gonna break, okay? My head is up, I'm not looking down. I look down, he's gonna step on my head, I'm in trouble. So I wanna get to this position here. Shoulder contact, head up. Now my finishes are really easy, right? I can go with the basic, I'm on the high And we'll start with that. We'll get into some more uh, advanced finishes for, for guys that have better balance and better shot defense, but for right now, so for MMA stance, we throw our combination, we're going to level change, then penetrate. Okay, combination, level change, and then penetrate. And if you look, I want to create motion right away. Okay, I don't just get to the guy and stop. If I stop here, his defense starts, now it, it turns into a fight. Right? The faster I can start creating motion, by moving this guy, it's very hard for him to stay with me. Okay? So let's just start with that, get to the guy, and create some motion. Okay? One, two, one, two. For, for wrestling sake, right? I, I get my inside tie up, right? I, I, I get an angle, I lower my level, boom, I just come up on a high table. Okay, so now, ideally, I want to get my lock as high on the groin as possible. So I'm controlling the hip, right? I want to control the hip. In a, in a, in a perfect world, I'm going to get very close to Ben's groin so I can control this hip, okay? Now, it's easier to move and maintain the back. I get this grip, I should be able to finish just the standard running of the pipe, okay? If I get my grip nice and high, I should be able to finish like that, okay? Unfortunately, right, um, guys start to defend, they start to push away as I'm gripping, so I, oftentimes I end up down around the knee, okay? Now, if I take my shot and I end up here, up here I'm not gonna be able to run the pipe when I'm close to the knee, okay? So if I feel this, I have to make a decision quickly of where I wanna go next, okay? So sometimes I might hang on to the leg, ah, Ben keeps the wizard, okay? If I just stay here, Ben's gonna lift his knee up, right, he's gonna lift his knee up and turn it down and escape, okay? So anytime, my opponent, defensively, I want to work my knee free so I can get out, especially if I don't have shoes on, right? It's quite easy to get away. So if the knee is not controlled, I can take my leg out. So if he controls my knee, right, I can't do that defense anymore, okay? Uh, also, if you watch, when Ben keeps his back flat and straight, this wizard is not very effective. If his spine is, is yeah, loose, now I'm able to start making space here and working my knee free. All right, so just defensively, you want, you want to understand that, right? Uh, okay, so I get here. Now, we're gonna do, uh, I call this the Randy Couture series. He, he's the one that showed it to me. Uh, if you want to look at like a video reference, you can go watch his fight with Gabriel Gonzaga. Uh, he used a couple of different variations of this uh, with a lot of success. We can do this on the wall, uh, or we can do it out in the open. So here, Ben gets his knee free. He's got, he's got a wizard, yeah, he's attacking the hands right here, like he should. Okay, but if you look, there's a window right here now. Okay, so in that space, it's also giving me space to move. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull and take a step. Pull and take a step to pass my head to the outside. Okay? So again, I take my shot. Then, ah, he creates a wizard. He pushes me away. I'm down by the knee, so I'm no longer close to him. I'm no longer in this space. Right? I'm in this space. There's no room there. So he's created space. Now that the space is created, I'm going to take 